Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be talking about featured tables inside of Power BI. A featured table is a way to basically identify a table that's going to be used when you analyze and excel and you turn this feature on inside the Power BI desktop and as you publish out to the service, this table is going to be featured for users to connect to through Excel. And so we're going to turn this on inside of the Power BI desktop, but there's a couple parameters that we have to set. So we're going to start inside the Power BI desktop and kind of look at how to set up a feature table in Power BI. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power BI desktop and I have this customer table where I have a customer key identified. You can see that up here in the first column. And I also have a first name as well. Now, ideally, we would probably want to have our first and last name combined together. But for this demonstration, we're just going to use the first name. Recognizing that each one of these rows identifies a different person with a different customer ID. So we can see that Larry Gill is 11602 and Jeffrey Gonzalez is 11603. So each one of these names relate to a different customer inside of our customer table and customer key is the ID column or the key column that we're going to use to relate to our sales table if we had one. So as we're focused in on what this table represents, this could be really any table inside of your Power BI model or your Power BI semantic model. And so what we're focused in on today is creating what's known as a featured table. In order to do that, we're going to go to the modeling view, which is this view over on the left hand side. And we're going to go ahead and select the modeling view. And as we select our customer table here, you're going to see in the property pane on the right hand side, you're going to see this section here is featured table. So this is how we're going to turn on this feature inside of the Power BI service. So as we set it up in the desktop and publish out to the Power BI service to a shared workspace, anyone's going to be able to connect to that featured table and use that inside of Excel. And so we're going to go ahead and turn that feature on here. And what it's going to ask us is to enter first a description. And so the description is just going to help us identify what this feature table is representing. And we're going to say that this is customer data. It's also going to ask us for a row label. So a row label is going to be what identifies each row with inside of our table itself. Now, once again, ideally, we would want to have our first and last name combined here. But for our row label, we're just going to select a column with inside of this table. And for this demonstration, we're going to choose that first name. So ideally, when you're setting this up, this is going to be the name or the description of the row. So as we set up this featured table, this is going to be the name or the description of the row. So if we're looking at, let's say, maybe a company dimension table, it's going to be the company name. Or if we're looking at a product dimension, it's going to be the product name. And then down below, it asks us for the key column. So the key column is going to be an ID column. In our case, we have it labeled as the customer key. So in our case, this key column is going to be the customer key, but this is also an ID column with a product table. It's going to be the row label is going to be the product name and the key column is going to be the product ID. If you go with a company, it's going to be the company name and company ID, so on and so forth. So for us, it's going to be the first name is going to be the row label. And for the key column, that's going to be this customer key column that we see right here. So we're going to go ahead and select the customer key and we'll go ahead and save this featured table. 
So as we publish this out into the Power BI service, this is now gonna be available for people to connect from within inside of Excel to this feature table through Power BI data sets. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. Our test prep question says you create a Power BI data set that contains a table shown in the following exhibit. You need to make the table available as an organizational data type in Microsoft Excel. How should you configure the properties of the table? And so it's asking us, how are we going to set up this feature table? And so that's why we went through the preview of what a feature table is. So we have an idea of what it's asking us to accomplish. So as you can see in our answer area, we have three different sections. We have the row label, the key column, and is feature table. Well, if we're going to set this up with a row label and a key column, we saw that that was indicative of a feature table inside of Power BI. And so right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and say that yes, this is going to be a feature table. But now the important part, identifying what we're gonna use for the row label and what we're gonna use for the key column. So as we talked about, when we're selecting a row label, the row label is gonna identify what each row is representing. And so we can see that the name of this table is the business unit. So these are gonna be the different business units with inside of this company. And so as we're identifying a row label for that business unit, we need to identify it based on the name. The cost center here is just how they're going to spread out the cost, which cost is going to be associated to which business unit. And a head count, we're not quite sure what that is, but we do know that the business unit name is going to properly identify each business unit. And so for the row label, we're going to be choosing the name. So the name of the business unit. Now the key column it didn't specifically say what the key column was, but we know that the key column is the same thing as an ID column. And so for our key column here, we're gonna be choosing the ID column. So for our answer area, we're gonna have row label is gonna be the name, the key column is gonna be the ID, and we're gonna turn that is featured table to yes. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.